course the past several weeks, um, but especially the last week to get through this. Um, so I appreciate everybody doing that. Um, so as I brought to you a week ago um, already, um, and we had talked about doing the Canvas and asking for an administrative recount. Um, I appreciate all of the patients as we work through that. Um, we are here today to provide updated an updated Canvas. Um, we are comfortable, 100% confident in our absentee numbers, um, and I appreciate uh, you being with us while we work through that. Um, and so to reframe a little bit, to go back, the reason for that is because the numbers that when we turn over the envelopes to the absentee board and the numbers that we returned back from the absentee board did not match the numbers on the machine. And therefore, we had concern about that. Um, and I wanted to make sure, with staff, we wanted to make sure that that was an accurate number. So we can now say that the numbers match via hand count and via the machines. Um, and so we are confident um, that we have every legal ballot um, have been counted. Um, and I also wanted to make sure I went out the support of our vendor with the machine company. So they were here through us and walked us through it as well. Um, so we wanted to turn those numbers over. So right now we have, I can give you an overall number. Um, we have a 48% turnout for the general election of 2022 with 64,012 voters. 64% of those voters voted at the polls on election day. 36% voted absentee. Um, everybody wants to know how does that compare to other elections? So I can tell you in comparison to 2018, um, it was a 55% turnout, 48% were absentee, and 52% were at the polls for that one. So actually, overall, we're down. Um, so it was a 55% turnout, now it's a 48%. Yeah, and so again, that was just from 2018, um, trying to compare apples to apples. Um, so, but we are confident in what we have. I'm grateful that we went through this process. Um, again, I appreciate your patience and um, wanted to, we will present, we have the, all of our Canvas documents. You know it's a lot of signing. Um, so I, got, I brought you some pens, so you're all ready to go. Um, and then we will turn those numbers. We have to overnight those into the state today. So we'll be getting those out. Any questions? Supervisor Kenobi. Auditor, uh, what did you learn about um, why the numbers did not appear to, to balance in the beginning? And, and you know, is there any, are there any corrections to be made in future elections? So um, that's a great question. Um, we learned how to better work with the machines. We learned um, what's called ballot preparation. Um, we will have a meeting with our vendor um, just to go over, again, the process and what do we need to change for the future. Um, we certainly don't want this to happen again. Um, I still, I'm not sure if it was a, <clears throat> if it was a human error um, between the, election, the day before and election day, um, or if it was the machine. Um, for those of you, I just have lots of familiar, friendly faces that are here, that are here today. Um, so the people who were present on the Monday and Tuesday, and then again the following Tuesday, witnessed a lot of jamming with our machines. Um, and so that was a frustration that we had. And so I don't know, again, I can't say 100% which it was, um, but we do know that the numbers match, and that's what we wanted. Um, so. Again, learning along the way, um, and uh, we will meet and make some changes to minimize, um, obviously, something like this happening in the future. And are you referring to the machines that are in the polls on election day, or something no. else? No, thank you. Um, so the machines in the polls are called the DS200s. Um, no, these are the um, 850s, and this is a much larger machine, and it's made to um, go much faster and to count much um, many more at a time, and it's specifically made for uh, more for absentee because we have such a large number. So we had um, over 23,000 ballots. I mean, I know in 2020, I think it was 40 or 60. I can't remember. And looking back at the numbers, um, 68,000 68, ballots. Um, so those machines are made to handle a much higher quantity. 
Um, so that's why. Uh, we, have to, we are lucky to have two. Many counties don't have any, but because we're such a larger county, obviously the numbers um, call for that. And so um, on last Friday, they worked very well, and we're pleased with that. Thank you. Is the ballot specific to a machine, or can these the the big machines that you talk about that we have two of, can we run any ballot through that? And the second thing that I wonder about it does it know that it has counted this ballot before? If that if that were to happen, meaning someone accidentally, I, I know there's nothing purposely, but. If accidentally you put the, that ballot through again, does that exist? Right, so great questions. Um, your first question, no. So we use regular, excuse me, when I say regular ballots, 14-inch, uh, 14-inch ballots. And then we also have express votes, which is much smaller. Um, and that's for the um, express vote machine. And it just provides a different size ballot. And both of those can go through the 850s. Um, so that's fine. Uh, we do separate them when we're counting because the machine, it will, it will, it will jam, it will catch sometimes if you put a small one in the middle of a stack of big ones. Um, so we do separate those out, but the machine can handle all of those. Um, and second, no, uh, the machine does not know if it's already counted a ballot. Um, I would love it if the machines made a mark on it so that we knew that this one was counted. Um, make a recommendation to the company for the future. <laughs> so.